Kona, Kona, I'm posted, Kona, Kona. The beautiful SZA is dropping her highly anticipated album, S.O.S. Friday. So first of all, how are you feeling? I am shook, but I'm excited. Yes. What was your biggest inspiration for S.O.S.? Um, Being angry. I was fed up with so much and I just had to let that out. <laughs> so um, what can the fans expect when they listen to SOS Friday? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of different random things on there. There's some rock songs on there. There's acoustic songs on there. There's some smooth R&B on there. I'm rapping on some of it. It's what? Warm, like boom bap. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. That is dope. So where did SOS come from? Um, well, you know, it means like save our souls and it means like save our ship. And then um, like the S in my name, you know, my name is an acronym, an acronym for the Supreme Alphabet. And so like the S is self-savior, savior of oneself. And then um, my friends call me Sos for short. My name is Solana and people just call me Sos, my, the people that are closest to me. That is dope. So I have to add, why did you wait so long to drop? You know, the fans, the girls... The girls, and I'm one of the girls. Uh -huh. We have been waiting, honey. No, I don't know. Even still, if I could hold it off even longer, I would actually. But I just feel like it, it might be time now. So I might got to do it. I just feel like I can't grow until I release and stop holding on to so much. So, yeah. Definitely. I had um, watched one of your old interviews from uh, around when control drop and i remember you were talking about like you basically just stumbled into music yeah like so i as a fan of yours i do appreciate you for not giving any of this up so what's been keeping you going um i'm just pretty competitive to be honest and i and i like to i like to compete with my pen i like to push myself to like compete against myself for what I can accomplish in terms of like, oh, I can make a song like that, or I can structure things like this, or I want to try that, like just things. So it's like, um, yeah, that that's really what keeps, it's like fun. When it gets boring and like just completely impossible to enjoy myself, I'll quit. Do you have any other dreams for sure that you want to accomplish? Um, definitely. I want to get into like farming. I want to get into water conservation. I want to get into, um, I don't know. I want to travel more and see how I can like just help other people in other places and see what God has for me. So that's so could you explain to your fans, um, your growth over these years? Um, I don't know. I feel like I've gone through so much loss and so much um, gain at the same time. I've buried a lot of people. I've made a lot of new connections. I've gotten closer to the people that I love. I've gotten closer to myself. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting ride. It's been a wild ride. So you got some heavy hitter features on this album. Can you talk to us about some of those? Um, it's Travis, Don, Phoebe. There's some people who didn't turn their verses in, but hopefully they will for a, a next the second round of this album. So <laughs> it deluxe. But um, yeah, I really just these are people who I fuck with, like, and that they're like my friends for real. And, and Travis always shows up for me. He's always. Um, championing me behind the scenes and in front of the scenes and I just really fuck with him and I'm grateful that he put that speed feature in at the last minute that buzzer beater I needed that and Don I've been like working on him with songs on this album for like at least two years so just like yeah it, he's just really so cool to me and so brilliant and such a genius with so fast he's amazing and Phoebe, of course, is just like a sweetheart and so hilarious and so different. That's so cool. So with everything that's been going on, I know life can be crazy, having to deal with the internet, the people. How is SZA protecting her peace right now? Um, I haven't figured that out yet, but I am, I'm working on it. I'm working on a, on a plan. I don't have a plan yet, but 
I'm just riding the wave right now and trying not to crash out for real and just trying to take it step by step and just see where it all takes me. Definitely. That's all you can do. And it's going to come to you. It ain't nothing to rest. Okay. So what else can we expect from you this upcoming year? Because you're dropping this right before the new year. So it's like we got something to go into. So what does Lisa have planned? Um, I'm dropping like makeup, but mostly like lip things because I'm super into like lip colors and um, lip gloss. I'm super particular about it. And um, I really worked hard on getting the right formula together. And I believe in this. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Long lasting. I love the colors. Big nude for black girls. Look good clear. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm a sucker for a good like liner and gloss moment, but also making more than just makeup and like moving into other areas and um there's a lot of investing in skincare companies that I believe in black owned skincare so many things um like topicals and all that kind of stuff but just moving yeah. and grooving yeah I'm definitely here for that you know that gloss gonna sell out in two seconds so send me the link first <laughs> a box first period that's exactly what i need so i have to ask you if you have one message to tell your haters what would you tell them oh man fuck y'all it's just really period. just i feel like girl fuck you it's like an, an energy that goes for men and women and it just it's very just, nice and it has you gotta keep the girl on it like girl fuck you yeah, exactly. <laughs> For men and women both. I, I said what I said and I stand I on that. Said what I um, said. But yeah, because it's just like we have to die as ourselves. Yeah. Like right. all this shit, like you have to really look at yourself in the mirror and be good with that. And like really all the choices that you're making, if you start like letting people the things some of the things that people come up with are so crazy you just be like this is insane like people aren't thinking and it's, yeah. it's really such with you being such a big star how do you deal with what people coming at you all different types of ways on the internet got something to say because girl you know you broke the internet when you came with that body okay <laughs> <laughs> broke the internet honey looking amazing Thank you. So how I, do you deal with the haters? Oh man, I I'm not gonna hold you. I don't be on the internet. I be I post my shit and I go. Yeah. Like on Twitter, I don't really have my responses on. So mm -hmm. like, I didn't have one for at least like a year or six months, and then um, yeah, I don't I don't be there. When I see something, I be like, that just made me hot. And then yeah. sometimes I feel like I just let niggas speculate on it because it's like. It is what it is. I'm not finna like not. I'm not finna like hate myself for y'all, and I'm not finna like tr internalize it too much. Like, just say I look nice and go, bitch. Like that's it. That's it. Like, that's it. Like, no. <laughs> but um, no, it's definitely um, yeah. I don't know, but I address it on my album actually a lot of it. So okay, so make sure y'all talk in because the girl is dropping Friday. SOS, be ready. It's a 23 piece, right? Yeah, it's a 23 piece with a side. Let's get into it, and I can't wait, okay? Because this is what the girls have been waiting for. Thank you so much for staying in this game. Thank you so much for dropping this album. Your fans, we love you. We appreciate you, and I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope you have an amazing release Friday. Thank you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and thank you for your energy. You're lovely. Thank you. For real. Posted on the corner. On the corner. On the corner. On the corner.